こんにちは。こんにちは。キークリエイティブスタジオオンラインご覧いただきありがとうございます。さて今日のトピックなんでしょう。What is the topic for today? Okay, it's good to be back.、Uh, so、uh, I wanted to kind of、uh, connect this to the last one. So the last one I, I spoke about like how to draw the head like using some landmarks, but these landmarks are the beginnings to help you orient the head in space. Okay, but I want to take it a little bit further, which is, yeah, like really like drawing the head in space in, in different positions, like,、um, you know, looking down, looking up, you know, looking up to the side and things like that. はい、えー、先週のトピックとちょっとね続きなんですけれども先週のトピックはランドマークを使って頭を獲得こう 3D 立体とした頭部を捉えられるよというお話をしましたで今日はそのランドマークも利用しながら例えば見下ろしたりとか見上げたりとか振り向いたりとかっていうようないろんな角度の頭部を描いてみたいと思います。Okay. So, um... Yeah, I guess maybe I'll just, I'll just jump into it again. All right. So I'll, I'll start here again. Okay. So, like I said before,、um, look, in terms of you know, orienting you know, our eyes or our brains、um, in space, you know, we, we have to get、uh, comfortable with some, just some, some basic concepts regarding、um, perspective. であのものをですねこの空間の中でどんなふうな位置にあるのかなっていうのを捉えるためにはどうしてもパースっていう概念が必要になってきます。Okay. Because、um, pretty much, you know,、um, understanding like this kind of box form is going to help you、um, in terms of、um, being able to see、um, when you need to like、um, Yeah, turn, turn the head in, in, in space, basically. Yeah. In my box, I'll write it in this case. I'm going to box it up. Okay, so in terms of like, like drawing the head, okay, I'm going to kind of do what I did before. Which I'm just, just laying a, a general volume down here. I'm, I'm not trying to be too specific about it. I'm just getting, getting a, the, the general idea down there for, for me to have something to work with. Okay. So, as I put, said before, like here, like where the That the temples are here, right? Bum, 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 bum. And then, like, say, like the, the, the cheekbones for the, the, the zygomatic arch is like pretty much underneath it below, like that. Okay. So, actually, you know, before I, I, I really get, get, get into it, sorry,、um, I want to talk a little bit about. Sometimes, like, you might see people draw it and, and they put like, these, these guidelines down here, you know, to help, you know,、um, orient where things are in space. And it's, it's a good idea to, to get comfortable with that.、Um, I'll show you another example here with, with just a sphere. Hi. でまあ、こんなふうにねガイドラインを引いてあげて、まあ、そのガイドラインがどこにあるのかっていうのがパパッと見,見分けられるあるいはもうそのモデルさんを見た時に、えー、把握できるようになると大分角のが楽になってくると思いますもう一つ例を書いてみますねまずは球体です。Right. So if I have like this, this、uh, uh, sphere here, right? Now it can get a little confusing because you know, I, don't, I don't have so many distinguishing marks on it but the moment I, I do this Uh, and then I bring this down this way, like that. Right now, we, we have a, a, a better sense of where things are in space, right? はい。でも今球体をまず描きました。で、その球体だけがある時って、このモールがどんなものかわからないんですよね。ただ丸いものなのかなっていうぐらいしか描かないです。ただもう今十字の線を描き入れました。縦と横に描き入れました。そうすると
turns to like here, like the temples here being here, like like that. はい、でこれをまあ頭とみなしていくとこのお御前のところにこめかみがこの辺かなとか I'm just dropping that, the rest of the volume down here just, just, just to, to, to flesh it out, right? Still trying to be light with it で顔面に当たるところをこう前に落としてあげる Right, and then of course like the cheekbones will be here pretty much, right? はい、頬骨もかけましたね Okay. As I said before, if you get you know, confused about the eyes, the eyes are roughly,、um, sorry, from one side of the head to the other side, we're talking about, about five, five eyes apart. So this is like one, two, three, four. This one is turned away, so it's going to be like, you know, a little bit out of sight, but five will be, will be over here, obviously. はい、で目の位置なんですけれども目はこう端から端までで5個分のスペースがあるよというお話をしましたなので本当に目があるところの2つの目の間には1つ分の目のスペースがあってで手前側には1つ分の目のスペースがあって奥側は向こうを向いてるから見えないという形になります。Okay. Right. I'm, I'm just gonna be a little bit fast and loose here because I, I want to keep moving but there's, there's enough architecture here that we can get a sense of The, the head being looking, we're looking down, we're looking down at it, and of course, the head is turned away this, this way.、Mm -hmm. はいはい、口ですけれども鼻の下にありますで。鼻の下にあるんですけれども、こう丸くなってるよっていうのは先週お話しした通りですね。Okay. All right. So another thing that some people have like some difficulty with. Okay. So so I'm looking down, looking this way.、Uh, one that's kind of common for people to get frustrated with is like, okay, what do you do? Like when it's the, the head is like looking up. That's、mm. something, right? はい、今見下ろしの視点の人を書きましたけれどももう難しいっていうふうに質問を受けるもう一つの角度がありますこれは見上げる角度です。Okay. So again, no, I, I didn't,、um, well, okay. I'm sorry, I'm g o n n a get ahead of myself. So I apologize.、Um, whenever I draw something, I mean, some of drawing, drawing is, is mind training, you know, so you, you have to really start Like seeing and like feeling in the paper these things as being like three dimensional volumes, right? Because that, that is going to inform like how your hand is going to move um, um, around the paper or in the paper. <laughs> on the paper. Sorry. Right. Hi. Drawing is the one that is just a line. 書いていくっていうことだけではなくて、まあ頭の体操的な要素もあるんですね。でその自分で紙の上に書いてあるものを見たり感じたりする能力っていうのがどんどん育っていきます。で今この書いてますよね、頭の。皆さんも一緒に書いてるかもしれませんけれども、この書いたものが立体物であって、上を向いている、下を向いている、あるいはこう左を向いている、右を見てるんだよっていうことが頭の中でこう解釈、しっかりできるようになっていくと思います。Okay. So, what I did here again, you know, I, since it's like we're trying to look up, That's something. So I know that the, where I put the, the, the temple, the, the, the landmark for the temples, it's going to be further up on, on, the, on this volume here because obviously it, it's moving away from us, right? Th th things that are, like if I have like, these, these,、uh, these convert, converging lines, right? So things that are, that are farther away from us are going to look smaller. Things that are closest to us are going to look, look bigger. Obviously, right? こともありますし、あるいはこう下から見上げてる視点になっているので、こめかみは上の方に私たち
見ている人たちからすると、遠くの方にこめかみが移動するっていうことになってきます。So, you know, when you, when you start, when you're drawing like,、um, like the head、um, in this kind of position, you know, you, you should, you know, keep in mind that generally, I mean, you, you're, you're going to adjust, you know, case by case. But obviously, if the head is tilting away from us, this is going to start to be smaller. And then in proportion, this area here is going to be somewhat larger. <laughs> So,、uh, so, like I said, you know, things are smaller. So, things that are farther away from us tend to shrink in size. Things that are closest to us are going to somewhat enlarge in size. Okay, sorry, so we have this, we have this, this guy, he's, he's looking up at something. Okay, but basically, boom, 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 the dum, the dum is basically is, is the box. This, like the, these four points I'm talking about. Of course, you know, the,、um, the, the cheekbones are a little, a little bit set out wider, obviously. But, but basically, you have like these, the, this, this four point relationship, right? And that, that should be helpful to help you to orient things in, in space. Yes, and you can see this. Box is a kind of 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 Okay, all right, so it's this one. Okay, we're looking, looking,、uh, he's looking up, which one s Or we're looking down, but looking this way. All right, so another one that's,、uh, that's tricky for, for some people is、uh, let's say that the head, like we're, we're, the, we're looking up from under,、mm -hmm. but, but, but turn, turned away, but turned away at, at, at three quarter. Okay. Hi, m o r e よくこれは難しいねっていうふうに言われる角度の、えー、顔を描いてみたいと思います。この見上げる角度ですね。で、えー、先は真正面から見た見上げの上を向いてる人を描きましたけれども、今度は少しですね、顔の向きが変わってます。Okay. So, same thing is my points here for like the, the temples pretty, pretty much. Okay. And then here's my, my points for like where the, the, the cheekbones、um, Okay, so if you guys, you know, if you, if you use your, your imagination, I mean, you can already like see there's like a, like a box, kind of like, like a box form in here a little bit, right? Because we have like this, this relationship.、Like、that. で4点とその間を結ぶ線っていうのを考えてくださるとあのボックスと同じようなふうに考えればいいんだなっていうのがだんだん分かってくるんじゃないかと思います。Okay. And this is the same, the same principles here, okay? So eyes are going to be pretty much just, just underneath it, okay? Eyes again are, are, are five eyes apart across from one side to the other side. So, so, so in other words, I, was, I, I start at the center like, like one and then like two, three. Like that, and that usually gives me like a, a, a good balance for like for the, the eye, the, the size of the eyes. Hi, the Kome no Yoko Sen no Sugustani Mega Kimas. So, no me, the you know, I done Jodo Ikobu no space of Akete Kaitagamas. So, sort of balance got open up. Okay, all right, so sorry, don't, don't, and then Shin. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Like I said, so I put this large volume here. Or, like, the, the, the main part of like where the cranium is, right? And then I just, yeah, I, I just again, like I did before, you know, I just I just drop down like this, this, this jaw area. It's, 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 a, it's a square kind of, kind of form, just so that, you know, I can, I can, I can complete, you know, this volume to look more like a, like a human head. Right? まるというか Q ですね書いたんですけれどもまた同じようにこう顔面に当たるところもうちょっと四角っぽいような
あのボリュームを書いてあげてます。そうすると顎ができて、全体が人間の頭部らしくなってきます。No. No, I, I might have said before that、um, uh, one tip or trick is like in terms of like, like where to align the, the mouth and the jawline. Okay, now if it's, if it's, if it's head on,、um, yeah, that's, that's fine. You know, they, they're all on the, they're on the same line. But, you know, once you know, it starts turning in space, that relationship is going to change now. Okay. Okay. Okay, so, so you gotta, you know, again, it's, it's, it's your overall understanding of perspective. I'm, I'm sorry, I keep on saying that, but, but again, it's, it's really important, you know, that we, you, know, you, get, you get comfortable with it so that、um, it's not gonna stand in your way, right? You know, so you, you, you wanna make friends with it, you know, make, make, a, make, a, make, make a, a, a peace treaty <laughs> with, with perspective. はいはい、どうしてもですねこういうふうにあの立体のものを紙に書くってなるとパースっていうのは避けて通ることができないんですねだけどパースは決して皆さんの邪魔をしようと思ってそこにいるわけじゃなくってもうお友達になってあの一緒に絵を描こうよって言ってそこにいるだけなのでぜひぜひ仲良くなってあげてください OK a l right so pretty much so this case you know like, okay we're, we're looking we're looking up you know at, at, this, at this guy here And of course, like he's, he's looking off, looking off this, this way, right? So obviously, you know, before, you know, it, it'll, it'll be the opposite of, of this one, which was like down that way. But now we're looking up and he's looking over, over this way now. <laughs> でどうでしょうかこの人が私たちが下から見上げてます。で、えー、この人物は向かって右側に視線をやってるっていうふうに見えてきたと思います。先ほど前のページで書いたのは私たちが上からその人を見てます。その人は左を見てますっていう構成でした。Okay. All right. So one other thing I wanted to talk about.、Um, some people get a little, you know, I may I could still put it on this page here. So like what happens to the head? Let's say in a kind of profile, and the head is like looking down and like and going back. What, what, what's, what's happening like in, in the neck area and stuff like that? I think some people seem to have some, some difficulty with that too. はい、では次のトピックなんですけども今度は真横から見た時にあのその人がこう上を向いたりとか下を向いたりとかすることがあると思うんですけれどもそうこの首ですね首のところがどんなふうになっているのかっていうのも知りたいよっていうご質問を受けますのでそこをちょっと解説したいと思います。Okay. So, okay. I think that's, that's clear, yeah? Alright. So, so, I'm going to draw this, this head in,、uh, in profile, okay? はい。これは真横から顔を描いて。ね、okay, and again, don't forget the eyes are back here. Don't put them <laughs> in the front unless it's a monster or something like that. The eyes are going to be all, all in the back.、はい Okay. Uh, I'll, give, I'll, also, I'll give you another tip.、Um, if this, this cranial part, some people get also confused, like, oh, like, like where do we put the ears, stuff like that.、Um, generally speaking, you know, this cranial part, you know, I, I, I divide it into, into quarters, you know, like down, down the center and like, you know, and then through the middle like that. So the ear is usually like in, in this. this This fourth, one, two, three, four, this fourth quarter here. That's where I usually put it. で真横から見た時の耳の位置なんですけれどもこの脳頭蓋のこの、まあ、最初に書いてあげたちょっと後ろにこう長いような楕円っぽい卵型の球なんですけれどもそれをですね<笑> 4等分した時の右下のところ後ろより半分より下のところに耳がきます。Okay. So... But yeah, okay, so we have like the neck here, like that, right? And obviously, you know, this, this neck is it is soft, right? It's not, it's not hard like bone. So obviously, you know, there, there's going to be like some, 
some stretching and some expanding, some squashing and stretching, so to, so to speak, right? Right. So, what happens is like when the, the head starts to, to, to look up, right? So let's say this is the neck here, like that. Okay. Then, obviously, this is stretching out. Right, and then back here, this the meat back here is it's 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 gonna it's gonna a little bit it's it's gonna it's gonna swell out and like bunch up a little bit. So obviously you have like a uh, have a a uh, a stretch here, but you have like a, a squash in in the back, obviously. Right. So obviously like here, like, you know, you have just in this straight position, okay, I just have it curved like that. But this one's gonna stretch out more and this that's gonna come back like like that. Okay. And sometimes you, you get this this little fold down here, which is like you know, because actually it, it, it bunches up. So sometimes you know, it, especially when it when it back and twists, like you get these these little these these folds here. So so you have to keep that in mind that that's coming from this point back here down it like like that. はい。ね、あの、横から見るときにこの首のところですね、に盛り上がりが見えると思います。まあ、京さんに言うと突きついてよくあのこれ書いたこと向きがよく示せるような定義はありますけれども、この盛り上がりとかもちょっと書いてあ
はい。で、まあ、今日お話ししてきたことで覚えていていただきたいのが、頭のボリュームを表すものは、こう、キューとその下についている、こう、ちょっと四角っぽい、この、下に伸ばしてあげた卵型のものですよね。こんなものを二つを書いてるだけです。これはもう簡単なフォームなので、えー、ボリュームとしてとっても書きやすいものじゃないかなっていうふうに思います。で、それと、この左。ページに書いてあるボックスのコンセプトを組み合わせてあげる。そうするといろんな角度を向いた人が書けるようになっていきます。Uh, I'm gonna before I before I, I stop because there's, there's something that、um, uh, Steve Houston、um, he's a really great artist and、um, actually I think he's also a teacher at, at DreamWorks as well. And、um, but he he, he I, I saw him in one of his、um, Uh, tutorial or tip videos when he's talking about、uh, something he called box logic.、Mm -hmm. And like applying box logic to, to volumes helps people to see things like in space and be able to like move things in space. はい、あのでは最後にスティーブ・ヒューストン先生が言っていたことっていうのをご紹介したいんですけれどもスティーブ・ヒューストンはドリームワークスで働いていたこともあったりもういろんなところで教えているとっても偉大なアーティストなんですけれども、まあ、ボックスロジックボックス理論っていうふうに彼は呼んでるんですけれどもボックスがしっかり理解できるともういろんなものを立体として見ることができる把握することができるようになるよっていうふうに言ってたそうです。So, if things are starting to look kind of like,、um, I don't know,、um, not to have any like real form or it's looking kind of flat,、um, you might want to think about applying、um, a kind of a, a box logic to it.、Okay. <laughs> なんとなくこう平たいな、書いてるものにこう厚みがないなっていうふうに思ったら、このボックスロジックっていう言葉を思い出して、あの、簡単な形でできる、自分が扱える範囲の形で立体を把握する、あるいは表現するってことを試してみてください。Okay, so I hope that's helpful. You guys work at it.、Um, and work at it, work at it, work at it until、uh, you get、um, better. <laughs> it's, really, it's really that simple. Okay, the, the, the more you practice, the better you, you're going to get. はい、でシンプルな形で何回も何回もあの自分があこれなら難しくないなって思えるぐらいにやってみるのがいいと思いますそうするとまた一歩先にまた一歩先にというふうに進んでいけるんじゃないかなと思っております okay. はい、oh. では今週もご覧いただきありがとうございましたまた来週もキークリエイティブスタジオお楽しみにお待ちください、okay. See you next week. Okay. Bye -bye.